Yeti spotted in the mountains, strange figures spotted by trail camera, strange ghostly apparitions, or a scary body cam footage from a police officer. These are a few of the things we will look at, so make sure to stick to the end. This video is from Pyrenees Mountains of Spain from a ski resort, which claim to have captured on footage evidence of the existence of a mythological creature. I don't know if what we are seeing is Bigfoot, or a relative of Bigfoot, or even an Yeti, but the people who captured this claim that what we are looking at is indeed a Yeti, which is an ape-like creature that is thought to hide in the Himalayan mountain range in Asia. So what is it doing all the way in Spain? It's the middle of the night on a deserted road. There are no lights save for the headlights of your vehicle. You can see something odd and out of place coming up in the distance. This driver was pragmatic in this event and managed to get whatever it was on the camera. Given how many accounts there are of people seeing ghosts, specters and other such anomalies on the side of the road, I am inclined to trust this source. There have been plenty of stories of spirits that have supposedly ridden in people's cars, only to disappear once they arrive at their destination. The driver of this video can be grateful for their supposedly mild experience. Either this is an incredibly amazing and fit contortionist, or there is something much stranger going on. I wouldn't think it to be too threatening given that the dogs seem to be chasing it away. But it does seem to look like a spider-like creature given its multiple limbs. But why is that thing so large and creepy? Personally, I've never seen such big spiders. But what do you think of this? Have you ever seen such creatures? Are they real? Or is this just a fake? For some reason, this guy has a recording device installed next to his bed at night. And this is perhaps because of something that happened to him. Similar to what we are about to see. As he is sleeping peacefully through the night, the curtains from his window open by themselves and we could have attributed this to wind, if not for the thing we are about to see. If we are paying close attention to the window, we can see that something has come next to it and is looking into the house. Just a few seconds after that, we can see a sudden flickering of the camera and the vanishing of the thing we saw in the window, as if it had entered the house. We can then see the blanket being pulled away from the man. And I am sure when the man looked at this recording, he was thankful he slept through all that. But I believe he also most likely immediately started looking for another place to stay at. From what the author of this clip said, the camera only switches on when it detects motion. So something must have activated it. After a few seconds, it becomes clear what triggered the camera. A strange figure lurking on the deck. It is a pity that this clip is so quick and difficult to make out exactly what the shape is. But there is clearly something. From what I can tell, it looks like a girl in a dress that swiftly flows through the closed door. And I will admit, this is a frightening concept. Because even the owner said that the door was closed and no one was outside at that time. And also that no one entered the house that night. It is a creepy recording thinking about it. But what do you think? What was that? Was it a ghost? This is perhaps one of the strangest videos I have seen. And I had so many questions around it. We know odd things happen in the historic state of Alabama. But this takes their encounters to the totally bizarre. Not only is the naked man wearing a mask, but it is also a Ronald Reagan mask of all things. There is this naked man wearing a dead Hollywood president face mask, intruding in someone's home. The video can certainly make this incident look funny at times, but the threat the masked man poses is also very real. And I'm not sure how funny the homeowners found it. It would take me a very long while to fall asleep at night, knowing that this sight was waiting for me inside my house. This footage is from a motion trail camera, which started taking pictures because of the deer. But what it also caught besides the deer is very strange. We can see some sort of tall, column-like thing passing very quickly behind the deer's back. The deer had almost no time to react to it, other than starting to look scared in its direction. Whatever the strange creature or object which passed behind it, it clearly was enough to scare up the deer 
the owner of the post jokes that it appears to be a pile of rocks walking by, but I am still baffled by what we saw and cannot come up with an explanation. If it was a glitch, then why did the deer look so scared in that direction? The first couple of viewings of this video definitely had me perplexed. A lady in white has all the makings of a scary movie. And we can see this lady passing the security guard, after which she just seems to vanish into thin air. The fact, however, that the security guard seems to almost appear out of nowhere as well, makes me deduce that the CCTV quality is not the best. There seems to be a specific glitchy spot, making things disappear in that particular place. But there is always the chance, of course, that neither the lady nor the security guard were real, and that both are ethereal bodies from another dimension, both caught on camera appearing and disappearing. Confusion and disbelief, this is what I imagine the videographer to have felt while filming these objects. They are unusual, as they move in sync. It is clear that there is some sort of intelligence behind their movement. I have, however, recently discovered synchronized drones and how they can deliver beautiful evening light performances. And although there are many who believe this to be something more sinister, this is what I believe the objects in the sky seem to be. They seem to be taking on a shape and they are flying with a supposed pattern. So I believe they are drones, but I could be wrong. What do you think? This video is just incredible. Watch these wolves go toe to toe with a giant black bear. And the reason? To save their little pups. Not only are the pups incredibly cute, the makings of any video, but the pack instinct to keep them safe is also very powerful. The bear, large as it was, knows it stands no chance against the protective family. And the quality of the video is also impressive, to the fact that it's shot from multiple angles and it makes the experience even more valuable. Besides the wind rusting the trees, all seems peaceful in this park, until we see the shadow. And for some time it seems that is all there is. However, the CCTV footage then begins to pick up more. The creature does seem to appear like a bear. Its movements do seem out of character for a bear, however. We can see a close-up on its face and it does seem to look weird, like a werewolf. And later on, an image also surfaced on the internet, claiming to be what we saw in the video. You can contradict me on this one, but I think rather than a werewolf, it is a long decaying animal, perhaps a bear or a wolf. And whatever the animal seems to be, the fact that it decays alone and forgotten seems rather sad to me. Also, given its state of decay, it is easy to see how it could be seen as a werewolf. But the naked thin hind legs do seem that they could be part of a man rather than of an animal. While the face is clearly animal-like. So what is it? What are we looking at? Is it a decaying animal or a werewolf? The tropics certainly have some of the most intense storms. And this is one such an example it seems. The videographer very sensibly hides within a building cautiously holding his smartphone out to film the impending hurricane. The sky changes from a dull grey to very quickly complete pitch darkness. The voices heard are very clearly scared and one has to have sympathy for them. No, 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 no. To see your world go completely dark in a matter of seconds can induce fear in anyone. The development of the Maya train has built both excitement and controversy. During its development, a number of anomalies have been both spotted and experienced. And the president of Mexico shared his mystical creature sightings. This photo is a stone depiction of Aluxe, a mythical and implied creature. They are believed to be guardians of forests, woods and other natural environments. And this one is a photographed sighting of a strange and small creature high in a tree. And people believed that this creature could be an Aluxe. An Aluxe standing by and guarding its territory as it slowly destroyed to make way for the new train. The glowing eyes is a frightening sight, but remains a fierce and loyal adversary to the technological development. The first video is from a trail camera in West Virginia. And I am not sure exactly what it caught. We can see some sort of breathing in front of the camera. 
as if something was next to it. Suddenly, the camera is moving, as if being shaken for a while. We can then see some hairy figure coming into the frame from the left side. And at some point we can even see part of its face. And it does look like a wolf. But why would a wolf take such interest in the camera? Usually the cameras are also fixed to trees. So the behavior of the creature is really strange. What do you think? Was it a wolf or something else trying to get rid of the camera? I am sure many of you know about this video that made Bigfoot famous. But thanks to our improving technology, we now have an improved version of that original footage. In this version, we can see more clearly Bigfoot and its movement. It all seems natural, not some fake costume. It does look real. The creature looks even scarier when we can clearly see how big, but still fast it can be. I wish we'd have more clear videos such as this one, but as you will see later in this video, we actually received a clear image showing this creature again. But what are your thoughts on Bigfoot? Do you think it actually exists? This third video shows the perspective of a man and its horse close to something that terrified both of them. The horse especially, sounding scared. The man heard some strange noises in the forest and started recording in the hopes that he would have something to impress his friends. He soon spots something behind the tree, trying to hide from his view. As he zooms in on the tree, we can quickly see a figure with a strange grey head peeking at him, but quickly going back into hiding. The horseman quickly left the place, as he was not sure what to expect of this encounter. So what did he see? Was that some sort of alien? The rake? or just someone playing a prank on us. If I was not scared enough of the oceans, then this video certainly made me not want to step in the waters for a while. We can see the recording of a deep sea camera near an oil rig. From the depths of the ocean, a shape starts forming slowly. At first I thought it is just some trash, some bag. But as it got closer and I realized its size, it terrified me. It looks like sort of a giant blanket, but the way it moves make you realize it's a living being. After looking for some info on what we are seeing, I found out that this is actually a real creature called a deep steria. And it's a super rare jellyfish living so deep in the ocean that you almost never see one. But what I still don't get from this video is the size. The camera seems to be looking at the foundation of the oil rig. And I bet this should be extremely sturdy and big. So how does a deep steria, which is supposed to be 60 centimeters or 2 feet, can have this enormous size? Continuing on the theme of Bigfoot, we also have this video taken in a forest at night. For what reason this person was there at that time, I can't tell. But as they move the camera, a figure can be seen stalking around and also moving their gaze towards the camera. I'll admit it is pretty blurry and we can't make much out of it, but it does seem to resemble the same body structure we all know of the Bigfoot. However, I don't know what to say about the validity of the video. Why would someone be in the forest at that time? And how come they got so close to the Bigfoot and managed to get away to upload this video? What do you think? Is this a fake? This next video is a CCTV footage from inside what appears to be a hotel hallway. For a while nothing is going on, until a man appears speaking on the phone. He appears scared, panicked, or searching for something, as he gets near all the tree doors, as if trying to find something, or someone. He then gets near the middle door and opens it. But afterwards, he needs to take a step back, as if scared or surprised by what he's seen inside. He enters the room without closing the door. What we next see really scared me. A hollow figure of a woman dressed in white appears to walk right out the middle door. The man backs out from the room and begins running, appearing to be terrified by what he's seen inside. What exactly happened there? 
and why was the man in such a hurry at the beginning and so scared at the end? For me it did not seem that he noticed the ghost, he was still looking towards the room. So what exactly is going on? This video made me feel good about the country I'm living in, being thankful I will never have to encounter such a monster. We can see a man in a garden, pointing the camera to a sewer. And only after one or two seconds you can immediately tell exactly why he decided to record that. From the sewer tunnel you can see two big menacing eyes glaring at him. I don't know how he can continue to look at the alligator being so close. I know for sure that I would be running immediately as far away as possible upon seeing that dinosaur looking at me. I think this is the strangest thing I have seen from afar. A black goat walking on two legs. I don't know if the farmer should be impressed or call the priest. Imagine seeing that goat at night, staring at you. I know I would not be able to sleep for the rest of the night, but rather reading the Bible. This short clip is from Scotland, from a camera that was set up to film some animals from that area. The original clip was much longer, but this bit that you are seeing is perhaps the most intriguing part. In this clip we can notice something strange happening in the trees on the left, so pay close attention to that area. At first there is nothing going on, just water rolling downstream. But suddenly we can start to see some weird movement on the left. I know it can be hard to see, so here is what can be seen when we zoom in. There is some strange ghostly figure there, next to the trees. I don't know if this is a glitch of the camera, but it does look strange and as I said, the clip was longer and this anomaly could not be seen before. If anyone knows what is that, let me know in the comments. I don't know if there is anything paranormal about this video or it is just a really scary encounter, but take a look at this guy walking his dog next to a forest. Notice the glaring yellow eyes that can be seen in the forest stalking his dog. I am sure if it was a predator, it was seconds away from jumping on the dog, because it seemed ready to attack. Take a look at this strange creature. This was displayed at a museum, but apparently it was recently stolen. At first I had no idea what exactly I was looking at. Some people mentioned it is some kind of mutation of a seahorse. But after some digging around, I found that this thing is actually not a sea monster, but rather a creation of an artist. The artist is called Dog Higley, and he creates interesting things, or art if you can call it that. His creations are really strange and scary, and I'm not sure where he takes his inspiration from, but I am sure I would not be displaying that in my house. These things look super scary. This image was taken by a guy who seems to have found on the beach the carcass of a two-headed dolphin. It seems too small to be an adult, more like an adolescent, and I am not sure how he or they survived until that age given their abnormality. This is a recording from a ranger who was conducting a survey in a remote area when he noticed something strange in the depths of the field. The ranger flashes his spotlight scanning the area when he sees a peculiar white figure. Sensing it is being watched, it swiftly crawls behind a tree to hide. The ranger maintains the flashlight in the specific area and five seconds later it is seen emerging from the shadows creeping stealthily between the trees, going in deeper in the woods. When we zoom in the footage, the creature bears a haunting resemblance to the infamous rake that at times walks on its fours, giving an illusion of a crawling figure. A police officer is called out to investigate a disturbance in a certain area, because apparently, neighbors complained a man had been screaming for almost over an hour. Upon arriving at the scene, it seems as if the screams had abruptly ceased he constantly uses his flashlight to search any signs of the unusual. As he cautiously proceeded down the road, 
but his flashlight suddenly illuminates a chilling sight at the far end of a branching road on his right. A pale and ghostly figure appeared to be sitting down. Without warning, it rises and starts darting towards the officer. The sheriff is spooked and becomes alerted. He immediately turns around away to flee from the imminent danger. After a close inspection, one can recognize the unknown figure to be one of the cryptids from its humanoid figure, white-like complexion and elongated limbs. The authenticity of the video is of course a matter of debate. However, there is no denying the strange and unsettling nature of the creature that is captured on film, whether it is a real creature or simply a clever hoax. The video is sure to spark curiosity and speculation. A security camera captures a peculiar occurrence in a backyard in Weslaco, Texas. In the dead of the night, when it is devoid of any activities, a small girl is seen walking hurriedly from the back of a storehouse across to the other end. One can easily wonder what a young girl could be doing walking casually in the middle of the night. The small girl seems to be in a white dress and seems to be all alone. The owner claims there isn't any young girl in their house or living in their vicinity, hence why he thought this sight is so creepy. At a closer range, from its pale figure and almost invisible like stature, one can conclude it to be a ghostly apparition. We also have a continuation, as the owner, baffled by what he saw, went on to investigate the surrounding area of his backyard. The area is scary and seems to be empty, not one trace of a person having been there. The man goes to the fence of the yard and records the eerie darkness but nothing out of ordinary can be seen. So what exactly did the camera catch? Was it a glitch with the recording or did it really catch a glimpse of the immaterial? Looking at this video, one can just see a normal grass field, but upon closer inspection, the young creature comes into clarity. It resembles a meerkat or a mongoose, but when analyzed, many people claim the creature is taller and wider from a normal mongoose. From its structure, one can distinguish the small creature has long arms and elongated small claws. It is also visible that it is covered in black fur and has some orange smudge on its head. The description may resemble that of a baby Bigfoot, or it could be a photoshopped image of one's intention trying to spook its audience. What do you think? In the continued search for the Bigfoot, a man catches a glimpse of a thrilling moment. A figure can be seen stalking around. The video was perfectly captured in the right moment, where the large creature can be seen as if playing peekaboo with the viewers. The man in the background filming is captivated and asks his counterpart if sees what he's seen, whom he's also aware of the happenings. Hey, just, do you see that? Do you see that? I'm afraid. The creature also seems to be aware of being watched as it seems to be directly facing them. Oh my God. Oh my God. The unknown figure casually wanders around conscious of being watched. When it stretches its arms, the limbs are really long and resembles those of a Bigfoot. The creature can easily be mistaken for an ape, but surely it's too big for the ape category considering the fact it is bipedal. This video shows a man who's playing with fire. He's holding a water bottle and is seen spilling water on a black bear, seemingly teasing it. For a while, the bear does not seem to notice where the water is coming from. However, he quickly becomes aware of the source. Having seen the man, the bear threatens to ascend the tree. The man, feeling threatened at this point, picks his rifle and aims it at the bear. The tension reaches its peak as the man, with determined resolve, cocks the gun fully prepared to protect himself. But thankfully for both parties, the bear decides to retreat and continues minding its own business. 
I am not sure what was the purpose of spilling water on the bear, but it did seem reckless to me. In this haunting video, the innocence of a child unfolds amidst a backdrop of the paranormal. As the child plays and goofs around, he seems to not be alone in the room. Although hard to see at first, we can notice an ephemeral being seeming to play with the child. The entity does not seem to want to harm the child, who also seems to be aware of that. Is it a ghostly apparition, trapped between realms and drawn to the child's presence? Could it be a protective spirit? Or is it our imagination coming from just a camera glitch? This person was having a party at their house, but he noticed some weird movement outside their house. They went outside to check and spotted something strange, hiding. They pointed the flashlight to confirm if there is anything there. Not seeing anything, the person closes the flashlight to see if that will bait whatever is hiding in the darkness. When they open the flashlight again, at a closer scrutiny, a glimmer of movement behind a distant rock caught their eye. A small, unusual being peeks from the rock, then hides. The person then keeps doing that repeatedly, and as before we can see the small being peeking again timidly. There are points when the unusual being comes out exposing part of its body. The thing resembles the height of a toddler, appears white or pink in color, and as it goes back, we can see its short hand. We can hear the woman in the background pleading for the flashlight to be turned on. Turn the light on, turn the light on again. And this time, they catch half of its body. Might this be one of the Makiawisug, the little people from Native Americans' myths. They have come to punish those who did not compel to their rules, or they have come to reward who were kind to them. In this clip, a man was in his yard when he noticed something dark moving near the wood line. He tries to use his phone to see if he can have a closer look. As he tries to zoom in, he can see the dark blob but can't make out what it is and continues recording. A second one pops out. As the one stands there staring at him, the other one looks oblivious. The larger one goes behind that tree and starts peeking from the other side. Could this be the sight of a group of Bigfoot-like creatures? This video is from the famous Draco Tunnels. They were built in 1941 with the intent to be a so-called shadow factory, which was required to build weapons needed for the Second World War. But during the Cold War, it was converted to a classified secret research site, and there are almost no records of this facility. But what is known is that many people died there. Workers and visitors often claim to see shadow figures in this area and everyone claims to have a sense of uneasiness being there. But what is very often reported is the apparition of a woman and her young kid. These reports are so common that the Draco tunnels are known as one of the most haunted places in the world. Take a look at this other video from a remote camera. The shadow lurking on the left of the frame appears without warning. It is very clearly human. But what is strange is that it was reported no one was supposed to be at that hour in the tunnels. And from what the workers know, no one actually entered during that night. So what are those shadows? Flickering of the camera? Or is this what everyone reported seeing in those haunted tunnels? Sites like these embody and echo the fear and trauma experienced by people who died there. And I for sure would not want to find myself there. This video is from a police officer's body cam who was called to investigate the house for any intruders as reported by the neighbors. They hear loud bangs in the house and start to investigate every room to find the source. 
As the officer goes upstairs, he sees the door to the room open and thinks he's seeing someone. Anyone inside, make yourself known. The door opens and he proceeds towards it. But he cannot find anyone in the room and decides to leave. As he is going downstairs, this happens. The officer thinks he's heard something and goes back to check but can't find anyone again. The police officers, now scared to the bone and having no idea what is going on, decide not to check the house any further and just leave. What do you think was that? Was someone hiding in the house and the police officers missed them? Or was there something more sinister going on there? In this video, we can see someone driving through the night as everything is recorded from an onboard camera. The situation itself is scary enough. Imagine having to drive a motorcycle through the night in a place such as this one, with no sign of civilization, no lights and nobody else on the road. As he is driving, at some point we can start seeing something in the distance. A white figure appears close to the edge of the road. For some reason, the driver continues to drive past it, and we can see that the figure appears to be a woman dressed in a white robe. I don't know if the driver should have stopped to make sure it isn't a person who actually needs help, but given the circumstances and how scary everything seemed to be, I think I would have continued to drive as well. This photo was taken by a motion trail camera near a hunting camp. The purpose was to capture sightings of different animals and perhaps predators lurking. But what it caught instead is really bizarre. In the distance, near the water reservoir, there seems to be a white figure watching from a distance. According to the hunter, there was no one there at the camp at that time of the year. So what is that? Is that just some bug that got too close to the lens of the camera? Or is it something more sinister? This trail cam picture seems to have caught some bizarre creature lurking in the forest. It can't really be a wolf or bear as it seems to be walking on two legs. But it is also crouching in a weird way. The body full of hair and its long arms seem to be resembling the famous Bigfoot. But given what most descriptions of Bigfoot say, it is supposed to be big. This one does not seem that big in particular. Compared to the tree, even a human would be bigger, or at least the same size. It looks more like an ape in this case. But what would an ape be doing there? Photos of a giant crocodile, believed to be around 29 feet or around 9 meters long, started appearing on the internet. It is said that this giant has been lurking near a village in Philippines and is believed to be the killer of several people. Because of that, people decided they needed to do something about it. And they set up a hunting party to catch the monster. And catch it they did. The croc was not killed, however, but captured and tied in order to be sent to a zoo. But just look at the size of this creature. It is possibly the largest crocodile ever caught. And although it was caught and secured, it surely did not give up and was struggling with every fiber to get loose. We can see the people being evacuated as the croc was about to get loose, but thankfully as the croc got tired of all that struggle, the villagers in the end managed to secure it back and in the end send it to a zoo. This video was taken by a person who was exploring the forest of Amherst and they were extremely surprised, if not terrified, by what they found. A structure made of branches in the middle of the forest. At first look, you could say that it was made by kids trying to play, or by a person who got lost in the woods and needed the shelter for the night. But when the person recording the video got closer, they saw different small twigs tied up in different formations, as if trying to create strange symbols out of them. And what is scarier, at the end of the video, the person recording also spots a person running away in the woods. But they decide not to pursue. What I have to say about this video is that Amherst has been known for rituals and weird sightings. So I am inclined to think that this might be the doing of a person who believes in all that. But what do you think? What was all that? 
the owner of a trail camera posted this explaining that he has no idea what his trail camera captured. It was set up in a normal grassy field with the purpose of seeing if any predators appear. But his camera started glitching and began showing strange figures made of light. To me, as a programmer, this looks exactly as an artificial neural network trying to join up together or communicating in some form. Really strange sighting and I have no idea why such a thing would appear on a trail camera. If you have any idea what this is, please leave a comment. Seeing this clip, the first thing I thought about is that this is a Dementor from Harry Potter. Its shadowy figure stretching as it is flying looks exactly just like a Dementor. But unless the author took inspiration from real life, that cannot be a Dementor. So what exactly are we looking at? It cannot be a meteorite as it is going too slow. It also looks too weird and unlike any clouds I've seen and no piece of material could be up there. So is this something someone edited just to give us a scare? What do you think? We can see a CCTV recording from what appears to be a hospital in an Arab country. Three men are waiting in the hallway, while suddenly we can see a surgeon quickly jumping out of the room, as if he is trying to run away. He quickly begins stumbling across the hallway, trying to head for the exit, while the three guys continue watching in disbelief and for some reason they do not join in his run. Then we can clearly see what scared him. An empty wheelchair appears from that room as if it was pushed by someone. But the wheelchair quickly turns towards the man and the men quickly learn of what scared the surgeon as they begin to run in a full panic. What exactly was that? Did this video record a supernatural occurrence? Or is this just a fake setup? If you want to see more strange encounters on camera, then watch this video.